Hello and welcome to Alex and Glenn and Co. Productions bringing you Hermaphrodites, our new feature film. To get you up to speed, let's give you some examples so you can be just exactly sure what a hermaphrodite is. Let's take this hula girl and imagine that she has female genitalia. Now, let's take this rooster and imagine that he has male genitalia. Now, we are going to take this brontosaurus and imagine that he has ambiguous genitalia. Who in this example is the hermaphrodite? Probably the brontosaurus. Now that we've determined that the term hermaphrodite means having ambiguous genitalia, let's talk about the term itself. Some people actually find the term hermaphrodite offensive and prefer to be called intersex. The term hermaphrodite is mostly used to describe animals with ambiguous genitalia. Like, I it out. like our friend Barry here, the brontosaurus, and these snails on this website I'm not supposed to be using. What is that? Most famous hermaphrodite, Jabba the Hutt. Look at him. He loves it. This is a part where I'm supposed to tell you about famous hermaphrodites, but all I can find are rumors about Jamie Lee Curtis and Lady Gaga. So Here's a song about hermaphrodites. Yeah, this is a segment on hermaphrodite culture. Um, it's almost non-existent because it's such a rare condition and the stigma towards it exists. But at the same time, since it's so rare, there's no active groups against them. Just like, you know, oh, Jeopardy 25th Anniversary Edition. Everyone hates it, but it, they're not around, so there's no Ku Klux Klan for Jeopardy 25th Anniversary Edition. Just like Hermaphrodite. <laughs> what is Tiger Heli?